saying the foulest things <laughs> to get it to explode. And then on the dub version, we're saying, are oh, you trash, you big trash heap? It's like, that's probably what he was saying in Japanese. But people take, they take a lot of liberty. It's like, well, it, it, you know, this version, it's like, oh, no, 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 really, F-bomb. I'm just going to put an F-bomb here instead of this version. It's like, ooh, because I'm cool, I'm hip. I'm going to make this show cool where I stick a bunch of cuss words in it. It's like, I don't really think that's the case. Which is why I'm really on board with Viz and Funimation and other companies kind of leading the charge and putting their shows online within hours of it broadcast in Japan, officially subtitled. And I know the fans can still argue that it's like, well, the fan subs are better. It's like, but if it's official, it's from the source. Urgh. You know, tomato, tomato. Yeah, people will argue translation, but... And to be fair, on Bleach, since it's a Bleach panel, I can say, you know, sometimes I admit, and Wendy Lee has even said, it's like, we have to do this. Viz said, we have to pronounce it this way. It's like, you know the fans say it this way, right? It's like, our hands are tied. They want us to say it this way. So that's probably something that's in the back of some of your minds. It's like, how come you just pronounce this title? Because like, we have to. They're the ones writing the checks. <laughs> and in the end, we can't, you know, stir up you know, controversy and say, nope, we refuse to do this. Then we won't work again. So, gotta do that. All right, uh, yes? How do you prepare as an actor? Do you get a backstory of the character if you only see your lines in the voice of the time? The only prep we get as actors when we come to the voice session is when we first come in and do our little small talk, hey, how's it going? All right, cool. All right, in this episode, blah, 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 and they take about a minute or two to explain what's happening. Sometimes as little as 30 seconds. That's it. You get bullet points. Same thing, just little bullet points. That's it. I mean, you can ask because the director has seen the episodes ahead of time. They're the ones putting the jigsaw puzzle together. And if you, as an actor, want to know a little more context of what you're saying and everything, then they, they will fill you in on that. But usually they tell you just the bare minimum. That's what auditions give you is the bare minimum. Here's a picture of the character. Here's a little bit of what, what, what they're like and how they fit in the story. And now here's some lines showing the rate of emotion. And that's all you get. I mean, an audition script, literally, for anime, is like one page. So there's not a, you know, on some video game stuff I try out for, we'll have elaborate back history. And then I'm spoiled by bullet points that I actually don't read all this. It's like, how does this pertain to me? I, I, I don't want to know every in, intricate detail of this, this game. It's like the alien invasion started in such a century, and then it's like, how does my character fit into this? Time is money, you know? So that's kind of what it gets down to. That's why it's so important that an actor be trained first before they go in there going, I just want to do this. That's not enough. That's a good thing to start with. It's like, I have passion, I want to do this. It's like, well, once you be able to think on the fly, it's like, all right, I'm gonna throw these three or four bullet points at you, you're able to absorb it, and then make that character come alive, give it that little thing to base it on. And then, ta -da! So how it works, hopefully. If it doesn't, you don't keep working. <laughs> How's that for security issues? Insecurity, self-esteem, You ask. You ask where they volunteer. But that, that's it. You don't study anything ahead of time. I know that seems like, wouldn't it make it a better dub if the actors got to study episodes at times? But they wouldn't pay us to do that. Time is money, and they would do it as cheaply as possible. Believe me, anime dubbing, in LA anyway, it's cheaper in Texas, but the, the, the going rate for anime pay in LA is a two hour minimum at least, so they pay you for two hours, even if you work for half an hour. But $64.25, which is great if you had a 40 hour work week, but nobody does you get a little two hour session. Sometimes a four if, you're, if your character's talking a lot, but if not, you're just given the two hour minimum block of time. So what is that, 130 bucks, about, minus taxes. And then suddenly, okay, well I paid one bill, how am I gonna pay rent? <laughs> so voice actors, get a real job. You're gonna need a real job. <laughs> right now I'm moving on voice acting alone, that's why I'm so broke. Because I only book like one out of 50 things that I try out for, or one out of a hundred sometimes, because it's that competitive. So, yes? The favorite, 
gosh, I don't know. I was just trying to get into the, the tone of the story in the beginning, and that was even a few years ago. I couldn't even tell you. But I know that story arc-wise, just because I mean, it was my character, just seeing the turn of Aizen, you know, from a so friendly, and Momo really looks up to him, it's like, oh my gosh, he's weird. And then, you know, he's always scheming and everything. So then, you know, fans will tell me stuff where the manga is now, and what he's become, and all this stuff. All the there. So, you know, I have a funny nickname for him, but I won't say it because it's kind of spoken. Oh, say it. Should I? Yeah. yeah. He's like in chrysalis form, so he's got wings, so I call him butterflies. Oh, <laughs>